Today I got back my Starlight Exodia set from CGC. What's up guys, we're back with another epic CGC return video. Hopefully it's gonna be epic at least. I sent all five pieces of Exodia that we pulled from Battles of Legend Crystal Revenge to CGC. Before we hop into it, I do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know what you think we're gonna get from these. I did predict all my scores. I did service, I did edges, I did all the different subgrades for CGC. How about you let me know how accurate I'll be in the giveaway comment as well. All right, so we have this open and uh, we have no spoilers on the back, so that we're gonna look at it like that. There's five cards, you know, obviously all five pieces. I didn't send any doubles or anything. I wanted to just send these five and see what they got. I don't know what order they're in, so I'm gonna start from the front. I'm guessing that hopefully won't be the Exodia head. I do have a card to cover up this. So we'll check the back. Back of these is of course gonna be clean because they are new cards. I think that I remember them being pretty nice. I think it's like some of the limbs were not that great. Like they were the centering in terms of the front centering. So we have this token collector. He's gonna be uh he's gonna be sacrificing his body here to protect us from uh seeing what's at the front. So we have a right leg of the forbidden one. These uh I had a couple of dupes and they were very consistently like the same condition. So we're gonna check this out. We're gonna try and guess all four subgrades here. The centering is pretty bad on this guy. I think it, it's probably gonna get a nine or an 8.5, which is pretty unfortunate, but there's not much we can do about it. The surface looks pretty clean on these though. I think there is potential to get like a nine or a 10, or a 9.5 or a 10 surface. So the corners, let's check those out. I think we're gonna go with 10 surface and nine centering, maybe 8.5 if we get unlucky. Actually, that might be a little dimple there. Let's go 9.5 surface centering. I'm, I'm still debating on that. The corners look good and then then uh, the edges are a little bit rolled on these. We're like, they're kind of rolled up. So I think we're going to get a nine or a 9.5 on those. Pro probably because they're all around, we get a nine. So I'm going to go nine centering. I'm going to be optimistic. I'm going to go nine edges, 9.5 service, and then 10 corners. Let's do that. Let's just go right to it. We have five uh, different cards of four different grades. So let's see, four grades each. All right, first one. The best part about CGC, the reason I sent to CGC, I wanted to say before we get into this, was simply because I like doing these return videos and you can do the subgrades one at a time. At BGS, they do a square. So you have to reveal two at a time. This one you can go right across and do reveal, 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 and then go to the final grade. So I think that's really fun. And that's honestly the main reason I did this just because I think it'll be fun. So first grade for the right leg, we have a 10 on edges. So that's a great start because it's a brand new card. So you expect the edges to be pretty nice, but these were really nice. That's a good start. I think I probably predicted that. Uh, let's see, corners, 10. That's looking good, guys. That's looking good. Okay, two tens. I think the centering is going to be really what holds us back. If we can get a nine, that would be great. We have surface 9.5. Okay, we just need a nine. We just need a nine on the centering. Come on. Oh, an 8.5. Come on. I knew it was going to screw us over. So, I mean, super, super clean card. Surface at a 9.5. I don't remember what I predicted. Maybe there was. I think there might have been a little bit going on, but 8.5 centering. It is it is pretty bad. I mean, I'll give them that. It is pretty bad. I was hoping we could sneak out the nine. Unfortunately not. So we do have a nine on our first one. Not a good start, but I know a lot of the other ones had better centering. So hopefully they'll get like 9.5 or 10. All right. That appears to have been the right order going from the front of the box. I think Exodia head will probably be last. That's kind of what we want because it's the biggest card. So the centering on the back is not perfect here. Surface looks good. Let's just go right into it. We've already kind of looked through this on the pre-grade. We just want to double check. There's not anything damaged, you know, since we got, you know, I'll send it off. We have a left leg of the forbidden one. This centering is about the same. Okay, centering is terrible on this card. We're gonna go nine on the centering. Honestly, probably eight five on the centering. It's eight five centering. That's what I'm gonna go with. Unfortunately, I think it's eight five centering, maybe even nine. Uh, back surface is mostly clean. I'm gonna go nine five on the surface. I think it's not completely perfect. Corners are also appear to be really good on this card as well. We're gonna go 10 on the corners again. And then the edges, I'm, I'm get, these don't seem as rolled, so I'm gonna go 9.5 on the edges. So we're gonna go 8.5 centering, I'm gonna go 10 on the corners, and then 9.5 on the other two. Let's see if that can happen. Hopefully a 9 on the centering if we're lucky. I think it's gonna be 8.5 though. Come on, first one, let's get another 10 on the edges. We have a 10 on edges. Great start, let's see if we can get another 10 on the corners, and then maybe a 10 on the surface, who knows, let's see. 10 on the corners. Okay, so edges and corners. We're sending pristine looking cards for the most part in terms of like the, you know, around the card. But now the moment of truth, the surface, this is where it could change. 9.5 is the same grades. I'm guessing we got an 8.5. It did. Exact same grades, which 
I did think, I don't remember if I predicted exactly this, but I did think that that centering was going to be basically the only issue with these cards. So unfortunately two nines, but you can see these are really strong cards in terms of everything else. So that's nice. I also want to mention while we're doing this, that I sent this off and these came back really fast. I think I did the $50 rate plus like, you know, subgrades. I think it ends up being like 50 or 60, something like that. And they graded it super, super fast, but then they use registered mail and it took like two weeks to get back to me. So the actual shipping took like seven times as long because it took them like two days to grade it and 14 days to come back. So the registered mail is great for not getting lost. It sucks though for waiting for it. It takes forever. All right, next card. Let's hope that we can get something with a little better centering. I know some of these had better centering. Hopefully they have just as nice edges and corners, maybe a little better surface. That could be really nice. We'll have to see. Uh, centering on this guy on the back is pretty bad though. I'm noticing that. That is not great. We have the left arm of the forbidden one. So what is going on with that left arm? I did notice this when we did this, that part of the F in left arm is gone, which is interesting. This one definitely has a rolled top. You guys can see that. It's like they've cut it and it kind of like turned the edges a little bit. I'm going to go definitely nine, nine edges, probably even, maybe even worse on these. I'm going to go nine edges. Uh, let's see. Back service looks good. There's a little dimple. I'm going to go nine, five. So not a 10 because of that. Centering looks a lot better here. I think we can get a 9.5 on the centering on this. So edges are the worst part. The corners appear to be pretty good. Let's check them on the back. You can really see there. I'm, gonna, I'm going with 10 corners on all these. So I'm going to go 10 corners. I'm going to go 9 on the edges. I'm going to go 9.5 centering and 9.5 surface. So I think we can get a 9.5 overall on that one. Let's just go through it. Let's see how the rest of the grades went. We have edges, 10. Great start. Edges 10. So far, all three have had 10 edges, which is great. They're brand new. They should have 10 edges, right? Corners 10. Okay, this is a great start with better centering. Come on, you gotta believe, guys. Can the surface be better? I mean, I don't know if that left arm thing is gonna matter. We'll have to see. 9.5, okay, that's not bad. 9.5, it's really hard to get 10 surface because there's so much surface area of the card. It's like the entire card has to be perfect. Come on, at least give us a nine, come on. Nine, yes, all right, nine centering, let's go. All right, so centering's not perfect on here, but we did get enough to get the 9.5 on the left arm of the forbidden one. Okay, yeah, you can see there's a little surface like dimple there. That might've been part of what the, you know, the grade was. Then also, you know, there, some of the name is messed up on this, which is pretty strange, but hey, is there anything weird going on with the labels? I have a bad habit of doing these returns like PSA and stuff and just not looking at the labels. It came to my attention in my PSA return, my scapegoat, collector's rare. They spelled collector rare wrong. They spelled collector collect your so yeah sometimes weird stuff like that happens and i don't even notice so i'm gonna try and take you know do we miss up anything here we got uh, starlight rare first edition i think i typed in all this so it seems like should be you know normal bads legend crystal revenge cool okay nine 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 point five not bad so far we can take that two to go i'm guessing that this is the right arm so left arm that was the one that we finally pulled you know after 10 cases the right arm here is we had this, I think maybe our first piece of the right arm, a little bit going on in the back right there. I think that was already there. Can't really remember. Edges and corners, you've been doing well for us. So is surface. Let's see if you guys can keep it up. So we have the right arm, which appears to be pretty good. There might be some of the rolling. Yeah, same rolling. I'm gonna go nine again on that. Centering looks a little bit that way. I think it's probably a nine centering. Surface looks like there is something in the middle. I'm gonna go nine, five on that. And then edges, we're gonna go nine again so and then we got to look at the corners which i almost forgot about those look great again i don't think we're all going to get 10 corners every time but i'm still going with that 10 corners we're going to do nine on the edges we're going to do 9.5 on the surface and then nine on the centering as well so that's going to give us a nine overall but a pretty strong nine first grade we have a 10 on edges i'm just expecting it at this point because we have such nice cards we have a 10 on corners. I'm just expecting it. Can we beat a 9.5? Saw a little dimple, so I'm guessing we cannot beat a 9.5. We'll see. We did get a 9.5 again, so we didn't beat it. And then finally, I think the centering isn't enough to squeak out the nine. It's not great here. Let's see. Eight, five. Oh, so many nines. We pulled so many off-centered starlights. That is a bummer. The thing is, if we had centered a PSA, I think that that centering makes all three of those a nine anyway. Uh, this one maybe could have gotten a 10. We, I think it probably would have gotten a 10, but the rest of them probably nines. And finally, the moment we've all been waiting for, we have the Exodia head. And by the way, with the doubles I had, I did like look at each one and see like, is this double better than the other? And they were almost all the same centering. It was crazy. Like the exact same centering for the same cards. Can Exodia be our 10 that we get? That would be pretty cool. Let's go. We have Exodia, the forbidden one will it be super nice i had two of these they looked identical basically centering is slightly pushed up i'm gonna go 9.5 it's pretty good centering to be honest but it, I, i'm gonna go 9.5 just because i don't think they're gonna give us the 10 centering back surface is pretty clean there's like i mean there's like sort of a dimple there 
So we're gonna go 9.5 on the surface. Corners look pretty good. We're gonna go 10 on those again. And then the edges, we definitely gotta roll. So let's go nine on that. So I think we're gonna be nine, 9.5, 9.5, 10. I think that's what we're going for. So 9.5 overall. And let's go, first grade, 10 edges. You're doing your thing, edges. Now corners, follow through. We have 10 corners. Okay, surface, can you bless us with a 10? I believe you guys can do this, let's go. 9.5, all the same grades. The only thing that has changed is centering once. Give us at least a nine on this centering. Maybe 9.5, let's go. Okay, we'll take it a gym mint 9.5, Exodia the Forbidden One. So overall, we get two 9.5s and three 9s. All of our cards at 10 edges, 10 corners, and 9.5 service. Literally all the same. And ladies and gentlemen, there is your Exodia full set graded 9.99, 9.5, 9.5. Not terrible overall. If you guys enjoy this CGC return, let me know in the comments down below. And make sure to subscribe for more grading videos and other stuff like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Dizzy Flex. Sexy Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Mycycle, James Jance, TCG Trusted Cards, America Deutscher, Supreme Sage 21, Frankie Martinez, Nana Tai Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.